Okay, so welcome back. This is ELA slash moral education. Um, what we're going to be doing for moral ed, okay, as I explained in our morning message, um, Attic has now said that we do have to do moral education. So you will see that on your report card for this term, there is no mark for moral education, nor UAE social studies. It says excused instead of a mark. Um, Term four will have a mark rather than excused for both this moral ed and for UAE social studies. So today we're gonna to talk about moral ed. Um, okay, so I'm really actually excited for this because the assignment that I had in my master's program over the past um, winter course was making up a some type of resource to provide to um, a various like set of like people. So my group was assigned students, which is kind of cool because other groups were assigned teachers, other groups were assigned like um, TAs, other groups were assigned student teachers. So um, I'm lucky to have gotten students and I'm really excited to share this with you guys. And the people that I worked with on this project have shared this with their school. And I know there's many people who are um, already kind of like doing this um, adventure game thing that we've organized and making up this like journal. Um, okay. so. I'm gonna explain this to you. This is going to last the entire um, fourth quarter. So going into um, like all the way until like June, we're gonna be working on this. And I really wanna be able to give people ease on this like as much as possible. So we'll talk about the rubric next time, but we're just gonna, I'm just gonna introduce this to you today and kind of get you warmed up for it. Okay, so here it is. All right, so it's called um, okay, so welcome. You're about to explore an adventure game that relates to the practice of mindfulness because your mind is like your superpower. Okay, so there we go. Okay, <clears throat> so benefits of mindfulness, first of all. Okay, so the purpose of the game is, okay, so what goes on in your mind and body enables the many wonderful things you can do, but sometimes might block you from being your best version of you. To stay on top of your game and show how awesome you are, here are some mindfulness strategies for you to explore. Okay, so the game basically, and the way that this like journal works is there's four different components to it. First is to take a moment. So this is where you stop and breathe. You notice the moment that you're in and then basically you create space because when you're able to create that space, then it makes you able to react rather than, or sorry, respond, which means you're kind of like more um, like confident with what you're saying rather than just like, like exploding and kind of blowing up, which maybe you might regret a little bit later. Um, okay, so the purpose of this, so why should we do this taking a moment as our first step is because it, it actually boosts your brain to produce more chemicals for a positive mood, happiness, and relaxation. So it instantly kind of like resets you in a way, which is really cool. And that's like just by just like literally taking a moment. Okay. The next thing is to be kind. So this is kind of the third step or the second step, which is what we're already working on in ELA, which is super cool. So what is this? It's recognizing that you are enough as you are to trust in your abilities and to be on your own side. So to be kind to yourself, and to be kind to others. So this is, it gives you, why should you do this? Okay, so it gives you the strength to stay in difficult situations for longer by seeing the value in your own strengths. Okay, so that's kind of, yeah, that is that is good. So it's it's mainly like being kind to yourself. Um, yeah, rather than, it is also being kind to others, but it's primarily focused on being kind to yourself first because you can't, there's this really great quote that you can't, Phil, you know how when you're in the plane, it says you have to put on your own air mask before you can put on someone else's air mask, right? Like you need to take care of yourself before you can take care of somebody else. Um, and kind of same deal, like if you have a cup that's like you can't pour from an empty cup, right? So you have to make sure that you're like kind to yourself first. Okay, the next thing is showing gratitude. So we did this kind of already in our, um, with our, our calendar of the month. So showing gratitude, okay, so what is this? It's giving thanks, noticing the good things, and then being happy for other people. So a powerful way to build connections by worrying less about how you appear to compare to others. 
And that's very true. There's many, many, many benefits, scientifically proven benefits of showing gratitude to um, a situation or showing gratitude just to like to yourself or to other people. Then the last one is bouncing back. So this is about like resiliency and kind of like, um, yeah, if like you fall over, you know how to get back up and you're not gonna stay down. So it's knowing how to bounce back after a bad situation. So it's kind of like letting something be and letting it in. So whatever is happening, if the wind is blowing like crazy, you're kind of letting that happen. And then you're saying, well, I'm that tree. I can still remain strong regardless of what's happening around me because there's lots that we can't control around us. And then bouncing back is also to do this. It's important to let little small successes sink in and recognizing that the journey is more important than like the end destination, kind of like our poster that we had in our wall above our smart board, right? That was like, um, you have your thing too. And it doesn't matter how well you do on one thing compared to somebody else, as long as like you're taking a step up, like the growth mindset stuff, like you're taking a step up, you're like within yourself each day. So if you're able to do this, it increases your brain's flexibility. So that like again, growth mindset stuff, which leads to more creativity and confidence to explore, knowing that you can handle the storms when they come. Okay, so this is how we get started. Okay, so now that you know how mindfulness helps strengthen the connection between body and mind, get ready to play a game that will allow you to build your strengths time after time. After time. Okay, so this is the navigation board and I'm gonna post this, um, uh, this link onto our math page, or no, ELA page, sorry, like underneath of this. I was just thinking about math, and I'm like, I gotta go to our math lesson right away. Okay, um, all right, so you click on this page and then it will take you into this game. So the first thing you're gonna be asked to do is to select your mood, and then it's gonna ask you to take a moment. So you owe it to yourself to take a moment just to breathe and be. In our fast-paced world, it is important to practice paying attention to the present moment in a non-judgmental way. So you're not evaluating anything, you're just like literally stopping, breathing, taking a moment. So it can really be very powerful, kind of like our mindfulness. Um, these are guided hands-on activities that will allow you to focus on the present rather than focusing on the past or the future. So um, that's all that I'm gonna actually talk about today, okay? And I'm interested to see what moments you're able to find to take to yourself. So this page, um, so we're gonna let this like this, uh, this take a moment step sink in by going to step number three, which is on your reflection pages, record what you took away from one of the take a moment activities. So this is where you're going to record um, what you did, okay? So once you practice a few strategies shown in the game, you might begin to take a moment or many outside of the game too. How wonderful. See how many opportunities you can create to take a moment. So what activities have you explored? Have you taken out a moment outside the game too? What difference do you notice after taking a moment? Okay, so that's where we're gonna stop. And there's many different things that you can find in the game that are gonna help you learn how to take a moment. So we're gonna talk about those things next week. And some of them you could even like write down on here. Maybe there's like something that kind of stuck with you or maybe it's related to even like building something that helps you take a moment. Depends where you kind of go within the game. Okay, so have fun with this. And yeah, just explore over the next week and then we'll come back to this next Thursday when we do more live again. Okay, have fun. And I'll show you what I build too. <laughs>